What's good YouTube? It's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my top 12 Chicago travel tips. It's another in my series, Travel Talk Thursday. Now make sure you ask me in the comments below any Chicago related travel questions that you might have that I don't get to in this video. Now we're going to go ahead and get started with the basics. Chicago is the third largest city in the United States. It's the capital of Midwestern America. It's situated on Lake Michigan along the Chicago River. Chicago is a collection of neighborhoods and each one has something unique and special to explore. There are so many ways to get here from drive-in to taking a train into Union Station to flying in. Now it's likely that you're gonna be flying into one of our two major international airports. That's O'Hare and Midway. Now when you do, my recommendation for getting to the city from the airport is taking the CTA L train. From O'Hare, you're gonna to wanna to take the blue line and from Midway, you're gonna to wanna to take the orange line. That's gonna be the most efficient and economical way for you to get into the city. Now, otherwise, you can take a taxi or a ride share, but be warned, you're not really gonna save any time and you're gonna be paying a whole lot more money. Now let's get to staying in Chicago. There are iconic hotels from the Drake to the Palmer House Hotel. And of course, we've got those typical chains that you might see in any other town across America. Outside of that, there are Airbnb options all around the city in case you wanna save a little bit of money by staying in a spare room in somebody's apartment. Now, if it's your first time visiting Chicago, I understand you're probably gonna to wanna to stay downtown, but if you do, just let me tell you to get out of downtown at least for a day. Explore one of the other neighborhoods like Lincoln Park or Wicker Park or maybe the South Loop, West Loop, what have you. I have a whole playlist on Chicago neighborhoods where I go into a deep dive from things to do to the history to where to eat. And if you do decide to stay outside of downtown, I would recommend staying by an L stop. This way you have easy access to downtown or any other area of the city. So what is downtown Chicago? Well, let me tell you, there is no official area of the city that's called downtown, but rather downtown can effectively be considered the Loop, which is the central business district, Streeterville and River North. That's really what you're gonna consider downtown Chicago. Now, when it comes to getting around Chicago, my top recommendation is always to take the CTA. You've got the L train, which services the entire city, not to mention all of the buses. Of course, there are rideshare and taxi options. In the warmer months, you can rent a Divi bike, especially for shorter trips. Now, as a last resort, you can rent a car, but I don't really recommend this because you can get to any place in Chicago with public transportation. And if you rent a car, you're gonna be not only paying for that, but for parking, you're gonna to have to deal with traffic and navigating the city. Which brings me to my next tip. Navigating the city is so easy because Chicago is laid out on a grid system. The zero point is State and Madison, and it's very easy to know where you are, which direction you're headed. Just look at the numbers on the buildings or the street signs. For eating in Chicago, I recommend that you stay away from chain restaurants unless it's a Chicago chain like Portillo's or Lou Malnati's. Just to let you guys know, Chicago has been named the best restaurant city in the United States by multiple publications from Condé Nast Traveler to Bon Appetit. So there are Michelin star options, there are mom and pop options. If you're gonna be dining at one of the more popular restaurants, make sure you book in advance because the reservations do fill up quickly. Now, Chicago is not known as a food truck city, but there are food truck options, especially in the Loop area. These are gonna be options that a lot of workers downtown take advantage of. And one last point on that, you're not gonna find food carts like you would in NYC. There's no like hot dog cart on the corner or halal court down the street. You're just not gonna find that. It's not a thing in Chicago, but there are some food trucks. And of course, I highly recommend that you try one of our iconic foods, whether it be hot dog, pizza, Italian beef, We'll get into more of that later. For things to do in Chicago, I have an entire playlist where we go into depth into so many things around the city that are fun to do. But to boil it down to my four main recommendations, I would visit a park, go on an architecture tour, check out a museum, and go up in one of the observatories, whether it be the Sears Tower or the Hancock Tower. My personal recommendation is 360 Chicago in the Hancock Center. That offers, in my opinion, the best views. All right, for all you shopaholics out there, Chicago is a great place to get your shop on, to secure the bag. We have so many shopping districts, like Magnificent Mile, where you're gonna find your typical higher-end brands like Levi's or Gucci or Tiffany's. We've got the State Street District, which is gonna be the department stores like Macy's. You have a Uniqlo down there, Foot Locker. And all around the city, different neighborhoods are gonna be offering 
great shopping from souvenirs all the way to streetwear. Now, of course, Chicago is known as a cold weather city, and depending on your perspective, it's cold here for most of the year. I will tell you that most people visit between April and October. That's gonna be the most mild weather, the most things to do, but don't limit yourself to those months. You can come during the winter. There are still so many things to do, and you're probably gonna end up saving money because there aren't gonna be as many tourists in town. I have seen people visiting all year round and there are always plenty of things to do and plenty of things to see in the city. Of course, if you do come during winter, make sure you're prepared. I do have a whole video on surviving Chicago winters. That may give you some insights and tips into what you wanna pack. When it comes to culture in Chicago, you may experience the Midwestern friendliness while you're here. I would say in general, people are pretty friendly, but keep in mind, this is a metropolitan city and many locals are gonna be in a rush getting from place to place. People are busy here. Traditionally, Chicago has been known as a blue collar city. Nowadays, we're moving more towards being a global technological and financial hub. Regardless, we're still a very hardworking city, but as long as you're not taking up the entire sidewalk, blocking people from getting off the L train, riding your Divi bike on the sidewalk, or putting ketchup on a hot dog, you're pretty much gonna experience a lot of friendliness. Despite what the media might say, Chicago is a safe city. Now, of course, there are areas that you're gonna wanna avoid, but as a visitor here, you're probably never gonna find yourself in these areas. It's not gonna be a situation where you're downtown and all of a sudden make a left turn and you're in a bad area of the city. That's just not how it is. But keep in mind, it is a metropolitan world-class city with people of all backgrounds. We've got people from all around the world. So take some basic precautions. Be aware of your surroundings. Don't make dumb decisions. Don't be out at 4 a.m. walking with jewelry and cash out. Of course, avoid scammers and pickpockets. They're pretty easy to spot here. Now along these lines, I wanna give you one of my number one tips. Do not fall into the trap that north side is good and south side is bad. Because if you take that attitude, you're gonna be missing out on so much of what makes Chicago, Chicago. The south side is full of amazing neighborhoods, great food, so many things to do, friendly and amazing people. So don't fall into that trap. It's a bad way to look at Chicago. So if you guys are enjoying these tips, make sure you finesse that like button below. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, ask me in the questions below about any Chicago related travel question you may have that I didn't cover here today. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Peace.